What's up, YouTube? The phone again. I have an awesome little app for you guys. Um, uh, this is going to be part of my new video schedule, at least I hopefully I can do it. Probably going to try posting a, a video on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week. I'll try to do that. If I can't, then it's whatever. I'll try my hardest. But anyways, the app we're going to be looking at today is called No LED or No LED, which is great if you don't have an LED on your phone to get you notifications like I do. I don't see I don't have one right there. There's nothing there. That's the camera, if you're wondering. Um, let's go ahead and look at the app. Uh, I don't know if I might be able to show you anything much because they don't think I'm not gonna have people randomly text me. But that's that's whatever. Okay, so so when you download the app, it's gonna give you this. Switch no LED on. Obviously, you want to do that. Give you a bunch of little settings, not notifications, icons, colors, battery saving, which I usually don't have turned on that much except for disable touchscreen, which is kind of uh, was I think enabled by default but we'll come back here in a second basically what this app does is when you receive a notification an email or a, or a gmail whatever the hell you want to call it or a message text message your screen will be black but there will be a like a mail icon or a message icon or just some random dot up here it just doesn't matter where it's just gonna be a random dot on your screen and it's just gonna be like that and if you have disabled touch screen you're not gonna be able to you're not gonna be able to do anything it's just gonna stay black until you hook the home button and then it'll take you to your lock screen and you can unlock and it'll get your notification um, I don't know what this is doing right now yes I'm busy <laughs> um, but yeah it's a pretty it's a pretty cool app especially if you don't have an LED so let's go ahead and look at the notifications I have SMS uh, messaging and missed calls I don't have voicemail display time I could do that but you know it's whatever I don't really need to see the time on there I have my, I have my watch but obviously I don't have it on um, these are basically all the things that you can see or that they'll pop up icons that's what they look like or um, yeah you can get themes I guess I haven't really looked at into that that's quite cool actually but I actually like the default theme it's pretty simple what I have noticed though, is that some of the icons actually move, move across the screen like every time they appear again which I thought was pretty cool um, colors as you see right there that's whatever that's everybody's icon or whatever see how I have my email right there whatever uh, that's good enough. Uh, just charging indicator. That's kind of whatever. And yeah, let's see, test it. See how that looks. See how the icons are just random places. Look at that. It's just a random little thing. Random little icon. Messaging icons up there. See, it doesn't do anything until you click home. And then, I mean, obviously, it would take you back to your lock screen, but still. Let's go ahead and open this. Yep, there we go. You can change the colors. There you go. I'm not going to change it. I actually like the default color scheme. Um, battery saving features. You can put the screen on and off. Or um, blinking, basically. I don't have it on because I actually think it wastes battery. I guess. I don't know. Keep screen off. Um, I don't really I don't really want that. Notification timeout. I have it set to 5 minutes. I don't know what I had set to before. I flashed this ROM. But I'm about to flash a meso sphere anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Um, disable touch can I have that on because I don't want it to mess with the thing on there brightness level you can always change this I have it set to 100 just so I can see it should be that hard on a super AMOLED screen considering the the blacks are very prominent or the see so yeah, you can't even see the you can you can barely even see the uh, the the crossover from the phone case or the casing to the actual screen which is great so that way you're, the colors are going to be Plenty bright because they stand out so much on the black screen. Um, this myth was proximity sensors. That's basically if you have it in your phone. The proximity sensor is up here, and if it senses, oh, it's too dark, it will turn off the screen. Or yeah, you could have that or that. That works. Proximity sensor, I have it turned on. So that way, when it's, when I get a notification, it just automatically like, turns it off. But when I take my phone out of my pocket, like, like I just do that, like, yeah, take it out. Um, it actually shows me the notification. I don't know why this is already showing me this again. But anyways, um, there's a lot of things down here that you haven't seen. Time and sleep. I don't know what this is. Dots moving time. I don't know what this is. I'm sorry. You have to set this out for yourself. Um, but it is. There's a free unpaid version, which is not always nice. Vibrate. This is this is just when you get the notification, obviously. Audio reminder. Pretty sure it's just the ringtone. Yep, that's exactly what I thought it was. Miscellaneous. Um, I haven't used any of these really, so, but you can go ahead and look at these right down placement. 
Uh, I see that you put the downs on the right side. Display. Okay. Reorient to screen. I guess that's great. Disable backlight. Yeah, I have that. Disable volume keys. I should probably put that on there. Yeah, I should probably put that on there. Only. That's that's cool. That activates no LED only in silent and vibrate mode. That's pretty small. I'm actually I'm actually gonna turn that on. Actually no. No, that's that actually yeah. If you're in school maybe or you're at a workplace that might be great, but I usually have notifications all day long, so I don't really have to have that on. And the rest you guys can just look at yourself when you download the app, which I recommend you guys do. Then we just looked at that. Advanced. Log monitored apps. Not really important. Um yeah, that's about it. Go ahead and download this app. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.